On August the 22nd, the UN, for the first time, will dedicate this day in remembrance for the victims of religiously motivated violence. The resolution was passed on May the 28th after the proposal of Poland, the United States, Canada, Brazil, Egypt, Iraq, Jordan, Nigeria and Pakistan. This initiative is widely applauded by organizations that are aware of the anguish suffered by religious minorities in intolerant countries. ACN is defending uh, the position and the rights of Christians, especially when they are discriminated, suffering or uh, persecuted for the last 70 years. So therefore we are very happy about the declaration of this commemorating day uh, on the 22nd of August uh, because that builds us uh, a platform and provides us with a possibility to act against uh, further acts of violence, especially when you take into account that the majority of the persecuted uh, people, therefore the majority of people uh, against which acts of violence take place are Christians worldwide. It is always important to draw the world's attention to religious persecution. This is because it's an issue that is often kept silent. The idea of dedicating a day to those who suffer because of their faith is a very important step. I would like to say that it is a step that must be taken by all these people who, by living their faith, face deprivation, discrimination and even death. Aid to the Church in Need appreciates the commemoration of this day, but stresses that much work still lies ahead. We are very happy about this recognition of this commemorating day uh, because it's the first step in the right direction. It's the first uh, time that an international body, like uh, as important as the United Nations, is recognizing that there exists acts of violence based on religion. And with this recognition, uh, one is acknowledging the problem and uh, one can then uh, uh, use that as a platform for future measurements against uh, these violence acts. We are convinced it's the right step in the right direction. Uh, whether it by itself will change so, so much, we will have to see. However, we should bear in mind that it is really the duty of the nations and uh, the international organization like the United Nations uh, to fight for religious freedom and against uh, acts of violence uh, based on religion. So uh, we, this uh, 22nd of uh, August will be a perfect uh, uh, possibility and opportunity to remind the international bodies to do so. Aid to the Church in Need estimates that one in five Christians in the world live in countries where there is persecution or religious discrimination. All these people who have been victims of violence for religious reasons, not just Christians, will be remembered on August 22nd.